What's going on guys, Luke here with Wilson Auto Detailing and in this video I'm gonna share with you how to clean a nasty console on the interior of a car that carts around kids, how to do this fast and safely. So on any given interior detail, this area, which is what I call the console area, everything from these kind of top two vents that exist in most interiors down to the cup holders before you get to this console area is an area that's difficult to clean because it gets super dirty. It always has to be addressed even in a maintenance client car where you see it on a regular basis and there are buttons and electrical stuff everywhere so you have to be super careful. Let's go ahead and start up here and talk about how to do this quickly and safely. The very first thing I wanna do is clean the vents because they're always the easiest. Normally I would take my steamer to all of these, but what I wanna do here is take a little bit of chemical and a detailing brush to this because, again, I've got the hazard button here, I've got these radio buttons down here, and this is kind of a full screen, and because of that, I just have to be careful. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of Interior Express Cleaner here. I'm just gonna wet my detailing brush, and I'm gonna take all of this to the blades of each one of these vents, and all I wanna do is very gently Generally, clean it with my microfiber towel. Then, even if I haven't gotten all of the suds, I'm gonna take my air compressor, and I'm gonna blow all of this out and dry it completely. And really, my focus here is these front blades that I can see inside. I'm never gonna be able to get enough cleaner or liquid in there to clean everything I want to, because I'll start getting stuff that shouldn't get wet, wet, and all that sort of stuff. So, I'm just gonna very quickly mop all this up with my microfiber, and then I wanna move down here. This is where things change a little bit, because anytime I have a screen, whether it's a nav screen or even a plastic screen like this that is more durable, I don't play Play games with screens, it's not worth it, okay? So I'm gonna take an Optimum No Rinse solution, that's 32 ounces of water diluted with one ounce of Optimum No Rinse. I'm gonna take a different microfiber towel, not using the same one that I use with my Interior Express Cleaner. Spray it on my microfiber towel, not on the screen itself, and I'm gonna use the Optimum No Rinse to scrub this area. It might take me a little bit longer to clean this area with Optimum No Rinse because it's not the strongest cleaner, that's okay. I'm willing as a pro detailer to sacrifice a little speed here for the sake of keeping this area safe because it is an area that if you use any type of cleaner, I don't ever like to do that, but if you use any type of cleaner, there's a risk of messing something up because you didn't dilute it right or you didn't use the you know weakest cleaner you could have. In addition to that, the area that I will use a little bit of cleaner that's just dampened on my old microfiber towel with the Interior Express Cleaner is the volume button here, and I'm just gonna barely scrub around this area. And as always, I wanna take my air compressor and just blow out the seams. And then I wanna do the exact same thing as I move down to this screen. So I'm gonna take my Optimo No Rinse, put a little bit on my rag, scrub just like this, go to a dry side, and I'm gonna move on with my life. When I get down here to these radio buttons, this is where things get a little bit easier because this is kind of cheap coated plastic. I don't have to worry about damaging anything. And I'm just gonna scrub this area. A lot of people get nervous about using suds on an area like this. The bottom line is, I'm not getting them into the buttons, they're just on top of the buttons. So I'm not shoving a bunch of cleaner inside. I'm gonna take my air compressor, blow out the rest of it mop it up. Now I've got this whole area clean and I can move down to this area that is actually a little bit more complicated because it's so dirty. Now as I move down to this console area, cup holders, you've got the transmission, you've got a parking brake, a lot of buttons. This is an area that's difficult because there's so many seams and so many areas for dirt to hide that you're going to have to get in here with some pretty good detail and a lot of chemical. The other thing I want to highlight is that I've covered the area I just cleaned, all these screens and radio buttons, with a towel. And the reason for that is because as I clean all of this and use my air compressor and steamer and chemical, all this stuff is gonna blow back up. This is an area that gets cleaning spots on it, water spots on it really easily. I like to cover this up and start to cover areas strategically after I have finished detailing them. So here, what I'm gonna do to start out is what I call kind of the general attack. I know there's buttons here, I know we have to be careful. That being said, most of this stuff is just general plastic, so I can spray my Interior Express Cleaner directly onto this area, and then I just wanna scrub with my detailing brush. So before I do anything, I wanna loosen everything up. I'm gonna get in here, specifically focus on corners, I want to get inside of the cup holders, specifically these buttons, and I'm going to pull some of the, the chemical off of it so it doesn't stay so damp. I'm going to get inside this area, the area that we touch on the uh, gear shift. I'm just agitating chemical right now. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to take my microfiber towel and I'm going to mop up kind of the, the major areas here. You also, of course, want to make sure that you pull out any cup holder kind of protection there because these get really nasty and sticky. Now after I've done that, I'm going to add a little bit more chemical to the cup holders here. But what I want to do next is use my steamer. First, I'm gonna take my microfiber towel and cover up this little area with the buttons. I don't wanna get that very wet. Outside of that, this whole area is free game for a steamer. The reason why I wanna use the steamer is it's gonna rinse off the rest of the suds, help me see what's left, but it's also gonna heat up any last minute dirt.
So now it's just a matter of cleaning up a little bit of that residue, that water, and seeing what's left coming in with a detailing brush and potentially the steamer again to see if we can fix anything that is still here. Now at this point, this is where I start to get detailed. So we did kind of the general chemical cleaning, we steam cleaned it. Now I'm gonna have to get kind of detailed and say, okay, how do I get in these cracks and crevices? So I'm gonna take my toothbrush and my regular detailing brush. I'm gonna start to try to pull out the dust, dirt, and debris. I'm gonna start scrubbing and I might even pull out my vacuum just to try I pull out some of this stuff rather than push it further in. Now obviously you guys can see I'm using a combination of a lot of different tools. The vacuum becomes really helpful when I'm pulling stuff out. The, the second to last thing I want to do here is take my detailing toothbrush here and I want to scrub inside of these kind of seams. This is an area where just over time what happens is when you don't have a car that's detailed and it's kind of a disaster detail like this, you've got to pull stuff literally out of this area. Okay guys, this is the very last thing that absolutely has to happen. I'm going to start the car. then. I'm gonna take the gear shift, I'm gonna pull it all the way back because now I've exposed all of this nastiness inside of that belt that otherwise you would not see. When it's forward and you've just cleaned it, it looks all clean, but now all that is wet and disgusting. So I'm gonna take a microfiber towel, pull up kind of the meat of it, try to get in here with a little bit of a detail brush, and then I'm just gonna steam the rest of it. So, got the emergency brake on, of course. I'm gonna take my steamer and wipe that up pretty immediately. Go back and forth to make sure that I've got the whole area. That way when the customer drives away, they don't put it in the drive, see all that disgusting stuff and get disappointed that they just paid me for a detail. All right guys, that's it. Now this whole console area is super, super clean. A couple things. The areas that you're gonna see, even after they're clean, still having some like unclean marks are gonna be the cup holders, potentially the gear shift here. Inside these cup holders, we've got some scuffs. Here, we've got some of the leather rubbing off because those are the areas that get beat up. That is how you clean this area effectively, safely, without getting a bunch of water in here. You do have to implement a steamer. I at least like to, with an air compressor to make sure that we dry it quickly. But the steamer makes such quick work of all of these plastic seams and this area down here that just gets so nasty. If you guys want to see any of the tools or products I used, they'll be linked up in the YouTube description box below. And as always, you can get my free resource, the Pro Detailing Toolbox in the same place that shares with you the entire tool and product set I think you should have as a detailer if you're wondering about that. As always, thank you so much for watching. And remember, a great detailer is always learning. And I will see you in the next video.